as opposition political parties in this country, we are going to work together to end the pain and end the shame, democratic shame in this country. We want to make sure that we visibly uh, meet to discuss issues of electoral reform, issues of judicial reform, issues of um, INEC, issues of rigging, and how we can partner together as political, opposition political parties in this country to work together to end the democratic shame and the democratic pain in this country. Um, to start with, um, this is um, a meeting by political opposition political parties in Nigeria, and it's our maiden meeting. And the purpose of this meeting is to galvanize the support of political parties towards judicial and electoral reforms in this country, towards good governance, towards reforming our electoral process. And today we have adopted a name, and the name of um, this um, group will be Conference of Opposition Political Parties in Nigeria, COPIN. And by the grace of God, it was a very fruitful meeting. The um, Labour Party um, delegation um, was led by Chief. And we also have the delegation of ABGA led here by... Um, uh, yes. And um, we have um, the apology of few political parties. But we've all agreed that as opposition political parties in this country, we are going to work together to end the pain and end the shame, democratic shame in this country. We want to make sure that we visibly uh, meet to discuss issues of electoral reform, issues of judicial reform, issues of um, INEC, issues of rigging, and how we can partner together as political, opposition political parties in this country to work together to end the democratic shame and the democratic pain in this country, especially from the last uh, um, elections we've seen in Kogi and Imo. We believe that we cannot continue like this as a country. There's a need for amelioration. There's a need for palliation. There's a need for correction. And um, we have resolved that I, as um, the convener of this meeting, will drive the political parties, opposition political parties in this country, to do the needful and to keep the party in power in check to make sure that our democratic ideals, our democratic um, doctrines, our democratic tenets in this country is respected and that um, there, will be, there, there will be fairness, there will be equity, there will be egalitarianism in our democracy in this country. And um, um, we, we believe that we have adjourned to meet in a date that will be announced and we are going to take this very seriously and the battle to rescue this country democratically for all polit opposition political parties, is a battle of no retreat, no surrender. And we are all committed to this cause. And what we are calling for here is not a measure. What we are calling for is all opposition political parties working together to build our democracy, to strengthen our democracy, to ameliorate our democratic problems, to make sure that, by the grace of God, we push for, I mean, judicial and electoral reforms that will strengthen our democratic process and stop rigging and stop allocation of votes by the ruling political party and to be proper opposition parties, oppo proper op political, um, uh, opposition political parties in this country. So it is not a, it's a matter of collaboration. It's a matter of um, unity. It's a matter of doing things together for the betterment of the masses and the populace of this country. So it is not a matter of a major. It is not a major of political parties. It is rather a conference of, I mean, opposition political parties in Nigeria. And the main purpose is to make sure that together we push for a unified electoral and judicial system to have a better electoral process and to curb the likes of Mahmoud Yakubu from rigging elections in subsequent. Uh, um, okay, so what's your reaction to the relocation of Kogi State uh, Governorship Election Tribunal uh, to Abuja here? I have no confidence in the judicial system, so I don't even whether I relocated or not relocated. The judiciary remained the judiciary. This is about putting interests together to make sure that our democratic processes work for the general public, populace who are the electorate who are suffering bad leadership, bad governance. Led, occasioned, occasioned by bad electoral processes 
as led by Yakub Mahmoud. For us, for things to work, this partnership is for electoral, judicial, and constitutional reform that will help in improving our electoral atmosphere. That will make sure that one man, one vote will be the issue. That will make sure that anybody who goes to cast his vote will be sure that his vote will be counted. That will make sure that Nigerians will have confidence in the electoral process again. Because as it stands today, let me tell you, we have one of the worst democratic process going on right now. Because the way the electoral commission is managing the process, and I tell you, it's very also important, as part of the electoral reform that we're pursuing, that the commission will be unbundled. Because as to today, the commission is overburdened, and because of that, over, that nature of weight, Commission is acting as pro state, uh, as someone who is on um, protection of the state, who work and do a, conduct election as if they are, the interest is to protect parties in government. The opposition parties have suffered more over the years because when you go to election, you have to um, work along with the fact that the electoral system is working against you from the one. And Labour Party suffered more in the last election. So for all this to work, the parties must be united. They must come together to have a, 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 a focus on now the electoral system must be fair, electoral system must be credible, and the electoral system must represent the true wishes and aspirations of our people. All right. Thank uh, you, please. Uh, please, um, I have a question. Uh, whatever you are doing in this coalition, ends of the National Assembly, conference. In this conference, ends of the National Assembly. The National Assembly is headed by somebody to do the right thing and to restore the right political. The National Assembly is the people's house. And they will know that when the Nigerian people speak and have a, re a reform that will protect the general interests of our people, that they will not work against it. Because one, the National Assembly does not only consist of the, of, of the ruling party. It consists of all other parties, like the PDP and the, and the Labour Party and the NMPP, then ABGA. So we are going there to present something that will save Nigeria from this shame, from this international embarrassment. Something that will give light and give life to our electoral processes. Something that will entr enrich our democratic practice. Something that will give growth and development to our people. Because why? Because elections are not fair. Because elections are not credible. And is the reason why those who get into government misbehave. Because they are not elected by the people. When our elections start to have these ingredients, that credentials, that is fair, that is credible, and that is only the, by the vote of the people that you can be elected, you will find that those who get into office will be responsible and be responsible, responsive to the earnings of our people. Ikura, the national vice chairman, not central ABGA. Okay, let's hear from the ABGA angle of this. Yeah, we, the, the conference today showed us that uh, we need to come together and make the democracy work again. So we can't allow it to continue to happen in the way they want it. This is a democracy and we must work together. And this, at the time we are coming now, we must compare them to do what is right for the, the masses. Thank you very much. Abdulaziz Arikura. This my name. My name is Sajia Zoira Isaidia, National Deputy Woman Leader from Abga. From Abga. Now, the elections are over and the political parties are trying to come together to find a way of adjusting the electoral process to give us credible elections in the country. Do you think, what and what do you think should be done to get the system working? Okay. For my own assumption, the way they, they call us together, they want us to unite ourselves so that the way we can move the political level. Because believe me honestly, we are left behind the way and those people are doing with the other parties. They are, they are not doing the actually what's supposed to be done. They are just doing their own. So after they call us, they want us to be united and live together so that we can work on together. I believe when we are united to our own, to ourselves, we can achieve what we want, inshallah.